Everybody, thanks for coming by for another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a clean reinstall of Kodi. If you're having problems after installing an add-on or having problems uh, just getting an add-on to work. And I had this happen to me when I had to reinstall the Netflix add-on after I just had done a fresh start. And nothing seemed to work. Error kept coming up. And I did discover that the repository for Netflix that's available doesn't work. You're better to download the master zip, which I'll leave a uh, link to below. I found that the following steps are what I use to actually get Cody to work. And it essentially is pretty much nuking it completely off your computer. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go into Google and we're going to search for CC Cleaner. I'll have a link below directly to the download page as well. Once you've come there, you hit the uh, download CC Cleaner and that'll bring up this page here. And you'll want to scroll down and you want to pick the free version, the green button. And then save it and download it. So CC Cleaner, or as I used to call it, and I think the vernacular was way back in the day, it was called Crap Cleaner. I discovered after I got a new Dell computer, and the short of it is that it's great for getting rid of cookies. It cleans out your browser temporary files. It can help speed up your computer by doing registry cleaning. And it also has very nice tools. Installing CC Cleaner is fairly easy. Go to the location where you saved it, double click it, and then follow the instructions. It's basically just clicking. And once it's installed, we are going to go ahead and we're going to completely remove Kodi from our computer. So now that we're installed, we're gonna open up CC Cleaner and uh, we're going to go down to the tools section now what we're going to do from there is we're going to look for Kodi, just like we would in the Windows installer. When you find Kodi, select it and then go to the top there and start the uninstall. Now this box, I recommend clicking it on so that all the Kodi directories are gone. But I'm going to show you in this video what happens if you don't. So once you're in the registry tab, you'll want to go down and scan for issues. And what's going to happen is it's going to pull up all these orphaned registry links. It will ask if you want to back up your registry. You can. As you can see, I'm just saving them here under my documents. And once that's done, we say fix. And it will go through and delete all the orphaned registry files which would include anything that uh, Cody has left behind. So if you've done that, we're gonna now check to see if Cody got deleted. To make sure that Cody is completely gone from Windows, we have to go into our user folder. So go into your C, or where your Windows installation is, and you're gonna go to users and your username. Mine is Mike, and I'm gonna go in there. We can't see it at this moment, but I will show you how to discover this folder. That being the app data folder. The first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the top and click the view tab on Windows Explorer and go all the way to the right and you'll see show hidden files. Once you click that, you'll be able to see what we're looking for. Now what we're looking for is the app data file. And this is it right here. So we want to double click that folder and we're going to go down to roaming. Now, if you're already familiar with this, now well, you could skip ahead to where I show you what's next. But if you aren't, keep watching because once we're in roaming, we want to go and see if we can find Cody file folder. In this case we have, we're going to right click and we're going to delete it. 
Now you'll only have to go through this process of deleting the folder in app data if you neglected or forgot to check that Cody uninstalls these files while it's doing the uninstall completely, if you understand what I mean. So what's left? Well, we're almost there. The next thing we want to do is a complete system restart. Now the reason I do a restart is to flush everything out, make sure that any settings that Cody had in the firewall are reset, and then when we come back from a restart, we will reinstall Cody. Now that we've restarted our PC, it's time to uh, install Cody. So when you're installing it, just do it like you normally would. And as soon as you're done the install, we can install an add-on that does cause some grief and that's the Netflix add-on and we'll see if we can get it working with this clean install. Okay, so now that Cody is installed, let's restart it. And uh, first thing we'll do is we have to go into the gear up there and into system and make sure that we allow Cody to install add-ons. So we're gonna go to add-ons and make sure the unknown sources is clicked on and just reply yes to that. The next thing we'll wanna do is install Netflix. What I'm using is I'm using the Netflix Master Zip, which I have in my Google Drive, and I will put a link to that below. I'll also put a link to the repository that it came from, but don't download the repository. Also, before I install Netflix, let's just update everything. It is a new, fresh install. So we'll go ahead and do that. I personally have a folder on my data drive for Kodi apps. So everything I need is in there. I recommend if you don't have a folder, make a folder, it makes things easy to find. Like right now, we've got our Netflix master zip. So we'll just click on that and let it install. And there we go. So the next thing to do is start the add-on and see if uh, it works. So you'll have to log in with the user ID that you have for uh, Netflix. Of course, uh, five is highlighted, so hitting enter caused me some grief, but I have a mouse. And then the password, of course. Once this is done, we'll go and try and uh, stream something. So I'm going to go into my my little corner of Netflix. And I'll find something that I'm already watching. And we'll give this a try. I'm in season two. I'm not sure which episode, but we'll just pick one at random. And this should play. As long as everything is set up right, it should work. Ah, look at this, input stream adaptive is not installed. But do you remember this? Input stream helper is installed. Two different things. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go out and we'll go back to our uh, Kodi repository. Once I get this to uh, cooperate, and scroll down to you see and put stream it and install it. Why this does not get installed when you install the Netflix app, I don't know. So once we've installed input stream, we can get back out into the main screen of add ons and we can restart uh, Netflix and hope that everything works right from here on in. And this is the next thing we want to see this. We want to see it download the Woodvine. 
If you're not getting that, then start from scratch. Completely uninstall Kodi. Make sure when you're doing the install that you check the box. That will also delete all the associated files with Kodi. Doing this, you might not have to use CC Cleaner, but I recommend using CC Cleaner to clean up anyway after you're done the Kodi install. And look at that. It's working. I could try a few more, but I've been using it since. And uh, so far, no issues. Now this can work with any add-on. If you're having a problem with an add-on or you've got an old uh, Kodi install that you want to, you know, you might want upgrade to a newer version, you have the choice of just upgrading over top. But if you are getting any problems, I recommend doing a backup. I'll leave the uh, link for backing up Kodi up top. But I would uninstall from Kodi whatever app you believe is causing you the issue. Because I'm not too sure if you uh, don't do that and you restore your backup into Kodi if it'll cause problems. I never did check that. So I hope this helped. I hope that if you're having problems with some add-ons, especially that Netflix add-on, that uh, this does solve it for you. If it has been a help, hit like. If you want to see some more Kodi videos, hit subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. Glad everybody's here. Welcome to all the new subscribers. And I will be back with another video as soon as I can get one done. Everybody, thanks a lot for coming by.